Hello YouTube! Uh, we have a Dots V2 here. It is Dayton Audio Parameter uh, TL Small Parameter or Impedance Meter device. Basically it's a device with a resistor inside it and it is actually a sound card, USB sound card. So within the box you get uh, the, the device of course, 1000 ohm resistor and then you get the CD for the uh, what is this? Uh, software on your computer. I have Windows 10 there, so it works on Windows 10, it's okay. Uh, uh, but how do you use it and what it is? Uh, basically, I've made some TLS small parameter uh, measurement devices, and actually, uh, I used them through the ear earphone dock and play some sine waves or, or um, pink noise over a 150 ohm resistor so uh, the sound comes to the speaker and after the speaker it goes over a 150 ohm resistor and so I can see the changes the speaker made in different kind of tones and I can measure the impedance. Now this DOTS V2 is roughly 100 to up to $150, not sure how much actually. Uh, I will be putting a link in the description where I bought it or you can bought it and uh, let's see how it works. So basically you have, you connect it into your USB device, you install the program, there's very good uh, information inside this box so make sure you install them correctly and after then you just plug your speaker in like so and press here impedance analyzer and then measure free air parameters then it plays sign uh, sweep and you can see the impedance here that's it you can actually see here uh, 3.141 ohms so it is precision ohm meter also you can see fs is 76 qts qes qms and you can also measure bus uh, uh, bus is quite hard to measure if you have a uh, speaker with very stiff suspension so you need to have a, a lot of weight onto it. Basically you measure your, your uh, piston diameter here so piston diameter is roughly from center to center or somebody uh, uh, measures it from inside and adds one, uh, one third of the surround here but I measure from center to center it's uh, inches put in here and then you just put uh, take free air parameter measurements and then you uh, add here impedance analyzer and measure was by selected method and you must use added mass method here and then you have to have a uh, added mass that you know the mass I'm using these kind of cheap uh, scales for up to like 100 grams to have a small weight here usually you should use a round as with something sticky like this so it does not bounce on it somebody uses actually pe pennies or coins but in this speaker this it has this center plug actually this is focal utopia very very good uh, mid-range speaker uh, but you need to add weight to the cone so the fs decreases uh, when you adding the weight the fs decreases and you me can measure uh, uh, with without weight and with weight and when you know the exact weight of your uh, object that you put on it you can measure the bus and it actually ac uh, makes more accurate uh, measurements on the other uh, parameters also and it takes like 15, uh, let's say one minute to put it up and one minute to take parameters when you have exact weight. Now this I used with Sundown V2, NSV2, 18 in subwoofer, picture somewhere here. And we have measured some of these uh, speakers and the uh, actually parameters that we have measured are on the description. You, there's a link to our Facebook page and you can see them there. So basically you need to have quite a lot of weight. This is 400 grams over. So it's a quite a lot of weight to put on this speaker. But in Sundown Audio it was okay. With the stiffer the suspension, the more weight you need to add. 
So basically, what do you need with these? You can calculate your box with Basebox Pro or WinISD when you have the parameters of your subwoofer. Not necessarily every subwoofer is the same, so you can, uh, let's say, buy a few and take the subwoofers that has similar uh, parameters or make a custom base and see how good it is and what kind of enclosure it needs to be uh, it needs to be in to outperform everything else or something like that so parameters are quite interesting but basically you don't need them uh, my kind of dude I like to do stuff like 3d print objects or fuse base and 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 testing these these kind of devices i like to see the parameters oh i like to see how it changes when you drive in the subwoofer so let's say you buy a new one and then you take the parameters and then you play some sign uh, sign nodes uh, and break it in a little bit and then you check how it changes etc etc now this was dayton audio that's v2 system 100 up to 150 uh, dollars uh, but in Europe it cost me 150 euros shipped. Uh, it is quite cheap. You can make cheap, cheaper. Just look for TS parameter device in Google or TS parameters. Uh, do it yourself and you can find a lot of uh, how you can make it yourself. But uh, let me just say this is uh, for the money 150 dollars. This is a very good device and it comes with this and actually it gives me a uh, true RTA one octave uh, program also so you can have a true RTA and this program and you can measure TL small parameters. It is very good device for the price, cheapest TL small parameter device actually what I could find. Now if you want to see more these kind of videos remember to push the little bell in uh, our uh, YouTube page next to the subscribe button the YouTube has changed some stuff and I'm not quite actually sure how it works but everybody I look in YouTube they tell their viewers to uh, press the bell button so you can get notifications into your phone or into your uh, laptop when I post videos online so if you like this kind of videos I'm making um, starting to make more and more English videos but I my main uh, viewers are from Finnish so 98% of my content is gonna be 98% uh, of my viewers are Finnish so mostly Finnish stuff I will be posting but for you English speakers I will be making these also more and more. Thanks for watching remember to push the bell button and see you on the next video. Bye bye! <laughs>